guys, today we're talking about relationship deal breakers. The things that when you meet someone, you just know that they are not the one for you. And it's interesting because we all kind of have different ones here in the office. So, and just to be clear, this is like beginning of a relationship deal breakers. Nothing like far down the line. No. It's not cheating. It's not lying. Right. All of that stuff. It's just when you first meet the person or you've been like casually dating them. Yes. Okay, so we wanted to first hear from you guys. What are your relationship deal breakers? So let's hear from that first. One, he has to be over 6'4". Two, he cannot own a pair of Chacos. Three, he can't be a cat person. Now, I think a relationship deal breaker is when the person that you are dating starts to become your entire life and they start to be the only person in your life. If you start to cut out the people that are important to you before the relationship and if you stop seeing those people and you only hang out with the person that you're in a relationship with, that's a major red flag and that is the relationship deal breaker. Okay, I love that last one. To me, that is such an important one because I totally have friends who get really suffocated by the guy that they're dating um, and it is one of my biggest pet peeves. Um, just someone who doesn't understand that you've got your own life. So I personally love that one. Kelly, what are yours? Okay, um, I have a lot of first date deal breakers. Um, I just recently went on a date with a guy from Bumble, and during the course of the date, we were just talking about each other, you know, as you do on a date. Right. <laughs> and he said that he was all about living the high rise lifestyle. I love this story. I have was, to tell you. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Do you know what that is? I don't. I, I, but I'm, did he not explain it? He didn't really go into detail. He kind of acted like that's something everyone should know. Right. And I was just like, mm, great. And then in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, this is date You're one like, and only. <laughs> <laughs> like, my rise lifestyle does not suit me. Check. No. Okay. And then my other one is on Bumble or any kind of dating apps, or even weirdly, like when friends try to set me up with someone, it's always someone named Dan. And that's my brother's name. So something about that goes off. <laughs> so Caitlin, what are yours? Okay, so mine are um, a guy who won't like who's super strict about his diet. Someone who can't relax at happy hour and have a burger because he's thinking about you know how he worked out earlier that day or whatever it might be. Um, that to me is just. I yes. feel like I, feel I like that. fries and I want to be able to enjoy them with the person that I'm yeah. seeing. Um, and my other one is someone who can't relax um, with my friends or who um, is not interested in getting to know them. I'm totally fine with shy, but just someone who um, doesn't take the time or put in the effort yeah. to really get to know them. Yeah, so, doesn't have the right vibe. Yeah, exactly. So just to be clear, your last deal breaker is if he wants to get with you, he's got to get with your friends. Got to get with my friends. That's it. Okay guys, so now it's your turn. We want to hear what your relationship deal breakers are. Comment below because we want to read them all. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check back next week for a brand new episode. And in the meantime, check out theeveryGirl.com. Okay, we already have so much B-roll of you two finding yourselves. Do something different. What is it? That's me? Get it right. Get it right. Get it right. Okay, now but good dance moves. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs>